I'm in Tbilisi, Georgia, and I'm going to show you how to get to the other side of the street. Now, in most American and Western European cities, the easiest way to cross the street is on a surface crosswalk. But in a lot of Eastern European cities, it's actually much easier and safer to cross under the street. And actually, a lot of these underground passages have shopping also. So I'm going to get to the other side of the street and I'm also going to do some souvenir shopping. Now I screwed this video up by recording it in time-lapse mode. So here's a voiceover to explain what's happening. I like to grab a refrigerator magnet from most of the cities I visit this way. I can sort of walk into my kitchen and see where I've been. And I'm going to look around this shop and see what else they have. Well, there's Joseph Stalin. He's from Georgia, but he's definitely not coming home with me. Although I understand in his hometown they're quite proud of him. This little shot glass looks like it'll fit in a suitcase fairly easily, so I think I'll grab that. I think maybe my wife will use it as a small flower vase or something. But it's an interesting decoration. And... So that's what a 20 lari note looks like in Georgia, and we'll see what this entire purchase costs. So here it is. It's 9 lari, which is just about $3.05 U.S. And as I continue down the hall, you'll see other souvenir shops and just general merchandise shops, um, including shoes and this bizarre shop that has guns. I assume they're pellet guns. And it seems that every underground shopping I've ever been to, there are uh, socks and underwear for sale. So if you need socks and underwear, um, just head underground. You're going to find them there. But this shop looks like it's got some interesting, hopefully handmade stuff. And I saw these earrings from outside, so I think I'll grab those for my wife. And I also found this little doll that's fabric. It looks like a Christmas ornament. It's got the Georgian flag as kind of its decoration. The total of these purchases, two of them were $6.09 US. So it really is inexpensive to shop here compared to some of the tourist areas of the city. And now that I'm done with my shopping, I can continue crossing the street. And when I leave the store, all I have to do is head down the tunnel and look for the daylight at the end, which is the exit to the tunnel. And a lot of these have an exit in either direction, depending on which way you want to go. So thanks so much for crossing the street with me and stay with me as I try to show you other interesting ways to travel to and around cities.